Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use split screen template in Filmora 10. So you know that now we have split screen template in Filmora 9 and in Filmora 10, uh, it is the same. Uh, by the way, in Filmora 10, we have some more options such as motion tracking and animation keyframe. So we can apply those uh, new features into the split uh, screen template. So it is very interesting. So that's what I'm going to show you in this video. All right, let's go to Filmora. Okay, so here I am inside Filmora 10. I already import some uh, clips and some image into the media library to give you some example. In order to use a split screen template, uh, you click here, uh, you see here, split screen, right? And in Filmora 10, and it is similar in Filmora 9, we have 30 different uh, templates that you can use. Uh, to use one of them, you can uh, select any of them and double click on the template uh, here to see how it looks. And when you decided to uh, what split screen you want to use, just uh, drag and drop it onto the timeline like this. Okay. So when you run and drop your split screen template onto the timeline, the first thing you will see the duration. Uh, this is the duration of the split screen. Uh, by the way, you can check the duration by right click and go to a duration. So this is five seconds. So this is a five second split screen. Okay. And the second thing, if you want to add anything uh, into the, this template, just run and drop it. Uh, for example, I want to drag this video to this one. Uh, I just do it like this, drag and drop it to the first position. And to the second one, uh, just do the same. Uh, this is the same, right? Okay, so uh, this is the template that we have just created. Nice, right? Uh, as you can see, we have two videos. Uh, this is the first one and this is the second one. And you have the animation, some animation effect inside here. To disable the animation, um, uh, you can click on this button to uncheck it like this. And you don't have the animation anymore. Just the video playing on the screen, okay? And uh, that is the first option. And uh, when you drag and drop uh, the video into the template, uh, you have some option to control your video. You can select the video right here, and then you have the option to scale up and scale down here with this slider. If you want to scale it up, uh, scale it down like this, right? And you can mute the audio also. Uh, click on this button to mute the audio. And you can also delete the video by this button. Uh, click here to delete this one. And you need to drag and drop another one uh, inside here. So select it, and this is the same. Uh, when you select this uh, this video, it is the same. Uh, there's uh, there are the same button here, and this is a button to go to advanced advanced split screen editor, and it is the same with this button. Now I'm going to click on that. Okay, go to advanced editor. Uh, okay, so this is the advanced uh, split screen editor where you can uh, have some more option to control your video. Uh, for example, here uh, you have the timeline and you can also move around your video along the timeline like this. Uh, if you want. And like this and like this. So uh, it is very easy to move the clip along the timeline. And you see here, if you move the clip to the left, uh, meaning that uh, you will leave the empty gaps here. But by the way, you have a button here to sp uh, to fit the split screen duration on the main timeline. So actually, it it will create a free frame. For example, like this. If you play here, uh, there's a free frame at the beginning, and then uh, when you have this one, uh, your clip will play here like this. Uh, let's play it. You see, uh, there's some free frame at the uh, at the beginning. And that is the duration of the split screen uh, from here to here, five seconds is the duration of the split screen. Okay. And you can even, uh, you can even delete this one. Uh, you can just uh, hit delete on your keyboard to delete the video in the, in the template like this. This one also the same. And right inside here, you can also drag and drop other media into the, uh, the template here. For example, I want to replace with an image, uh, this image. And also, this is an image, another image. Nice, right? 
so we have two uh, two image on the on the template now and this one the first one uh, the first one I want to scale it up so it can uh, fulfill the screen right uh, just select it and uh, scale it up Yeah, it's nice right so that is uh, about the timeline and on the left side on the left side of the window you have more option uh, when you select one clip uh, on the timeline and then you have some uh, option here media image color and animation so the, and these are the property of your image or video yeah it is very important and it is very similar to uh, what you have when you select a clip or, or an image on the time on the main timeline uh, in Vimora 10 for example at the media you can uh, import more with this button import more media here and at the image tab uh, you can uh, have the transform button uh, you can rotate uh, your image like this and see here rotate and flip and also scale it up and scale it down and also uh, change the position of your of your image and click on this button to reset it uh, at the color tab you can uh, you, know, you can adjust the color uh, such as color enhancement and also white balance and tones and uh, you can even apply different uh, different LUT, uh, 3D LUT to your image or video uh, like this uh, dark cools okay and the last thing uh, and the last thing is the animation so it, this is very interesting in Filmora 10 uh, that you can uh, add animation to your video or split screen uh, right inside here before in Filmora 9 you can only add motion to your video or image but now in Filmora 10 you can add animation keyframe uh, in this one uh, for example this is um, this is the this is the image if I want to uh, to create a fading or a fading a fading effect for this uh, with the animation keyframe, all I need to do is to uh, select here, select the image on the timeline, and then, and uh, then I just uh, need to go to the animation, and then select customize. So uh, I'm going to add uh, the first keyframe for this image. At the first keyframe, I want to uh, reduce the opacity to zero right and uh, moving forward to this position I, I will reset the the opacity that is to create a fading effect for this image uh, it is very easy uh, just uh, similar to animation keyframe that you have in Filmora 10 that I uh, published a tutorial here you can watch it here or here okay and that is everything you want to know about split screen templates in Filmora 10 I hope you enjoyed the tutorial if you have any question just let me know in the comment section below Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.